Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching me from. I welcome you to the Beijing's blog. And thank you for staying too. Thank you for watching my channel. And God bless you as you watch this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share as you watch. So today's gist is about, as you know, this channel is about Christendom. And it's a month for every woman and man to watch this video you know it's speaking do you have any emotional um trials or are you emotionally down pastor kinsley explained how to control your emotions in marriage and it's he also says that the the men has two percent emotion system more than the we women because women are too emotional so if this is what you want you want to learn more about your emotions and you want to make your emotions right in christ and in your marriage then this video is for you don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and please comment below and see you Let's interact in the comment section as you watch the other remaining clip. Thank you. So also, don't forget if you're a man watching this, are you emotional? Comment. <laughs>
All right, so the first time I started dating my wife, if I see her on Monday, I drop her at the bus stop or something, and we're going to see next Monday, I won't call her throughout the week till next Monday because I'm saving on my gist till next Monday. I don't have many gist. I'm saving on my gist till next Monday. And she had to tell me after a while, hey, you can't do that. You have to call me. You have to call me. You have to even check up. When you drop me at the bus stop, you have to check if I've gotten home. I didn't know all these things. Because in the world of men, if you tell me you're going home, I believe you. I believe you. You see, men have like that. But for women, when you say I'm going home, you checking on me if I've got you home is not really about checking on me if I've got home. It's about you saying I care about you. Do you see how it works for women? But for men, if I tell um, um, this gentleman I'm going home, he doesn't need to come. I, can, I can only call him if I didn't get home. If I don't call him, he knows that means I got home. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. Men talk for information. Women talk for affection. Women talk, men talk because they have something important to say. Women talk because they have somebody important to talk to. I don't know if you're getting what I'm saying. So women talk for affection. Women is not talking to you because there's something important to say. This is why many men think my wife is loving me. It's not something you. She needs to talk to you because you are important to her. But the man will only call you when there's something important to say. Hey, how far? Guy, you get your number. Yes, send them to me. Thank you. This somebody is not spoken to for two years and they're not upset. Because if you call me too much unnecessarily, I wouldn't be worried. Say, so, hey, guy, I just check on you. Eh? <laughs> Any problem? <laughs> Men talk for information. We don't have time for that. <laughs> so she had to teach me, no, you have to call me to know if I've gotten home. Then you have to call me throughout the week to check on me. I said, no problem. We can do that. So I started calling during the week. But when I call, I'll just call her during the week. I say, hey, how far? I just say, man, hail you. She said, no, you can't hail me. I'm not one of your guys. You see, because that's how guys talk. He said, I'm not one of your guys. You can't help me. You have to use endearing terms. You have to say, how are you doing? I miss you. I just want to hear your voice. You have, so, man, you have to learn it. It's an emotional frequency you must be on. It's not, everything is not practical about life. I don't know if you're getting what I'm saying. So, you have to, what I'm, how to reconcile differences that you have to become someone that you are not before. You have to learn new skills that don't come natural to you. You don't live by instincts. I told women too, two days ago, when you are communicating with a man, don't confront. Men are warriors. Standing in front of them means fight. Don't criticize. Don't complain, even though that's what comes to you naturally. As a woman, you, you, are, you are giving the gift of detail, so you pick out the only thing not working. Your eyes is kind of blind to the things that are working. So this is what you need to do as a woman. Before you can complain about something about your husband, please compliment him about something he's doing well. Resist the temptation to focus on only what's not working. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? So, by the help of the Holy Spirit, you get knowledge and you now apply that knowledge in relating with your spouse. Is somebody getting what I'm saying? That's why some of the books I recommended will help you. It's about not living with your spouse according to knowledge, not according to instincts. Your instincts will fail. Your husband is not a woman. The things you like as a woman, he won't like. Your wife is not a man. The things you like as a man, he, the way you talk to him. Women don't forget words. As a man, what they tell criminals is what they should tell you. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you. As a man, when in doubt, use sound, not words. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Use sounds. Because later you can translate the sound to anything as the need arises. But once you say those words, the woman will never forget. Is somebody getting what I'm saying?